What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Z, bottom lip, and today I'm going to be explaining to you guys about setups. Not set play, but setups. Um, I've been seeing a lot of videos on Twitter, YouTube of you guys coming up with like setups that are yes they're 50 50s but you're not also implementing a lot of other things that you have to do, you have to uh contribute when it comes to set play and that is delay wake up in wake up buttons armoring and so on and so forth um with that being said let's just go ahead and get right into this video i wanted to say something else but let's just get right into it right okay so um i know a lot of you guys like doing certain things in particular that looks cool right so like you guys would do something like this and then try to mix off of that right this is what you guys consider like, oh, that's that's good mix. That's good mix. And there's nothing wrong with it, right? Because you could do things like this. Hold on. I'm doing it wrong. Hold on. You see how that doesn't hit, right? Try this. See that? Uh, I'm going to take them out of cross stance. Just, to, just for this explanation. Okay. I don't think I need to dash up. See how like you guys would be like, oh, that's mixed right there, right? Uh, I'm trying to get it from max range. Because if I don't get it from max range, that will happen, right? Right? So the reason why we wouldn't consider this like a real setup uh, is because there's so many different ways that you can get out of that. It's just by delay wake up in, right? Um, and again, just to let everyone know that I played cyber sub, I also play a lot of set play characters. That's my favorite archetype in, um, street fighter, um, blaze blue, grand blue, all that set play is that's my shit. Like I know that from a, a T. So, you know, if you guys would like to listen, then it's totally up to you. But anyway, um, a lot of things you have to contribute when it comes for going up for setups. Right. And the number one thing that most people would do when they see things like this happen to them as it's happening in real time, the number one thing that they're going to do is delay wake up in, right? So if I do something like this, right? See how it times it weird? It actually gives them more frames to actually pay attention to what they want to do. See that? See how that's even a better setup? I delay my jump in. Uh, do it from max range. Okay. See how that's an actual, that can, can be considered an actual mix, right? So these are things that you have to think about when it comes for setups. You guys like doing things like this that makes it look insanely cool, right? Um, you guys would do something like this. Uh, trying to get the overhead. Oh, I think he's still blocking everything. Oh, it's auto block. Um, I'm gonna do it on stance. Keep it on stance. Okay. Right. And you guys would consider that a mix, right? Which essentially is true. But then again, you have to think about something else. There's so many different things or layers you have to think about and contribute to your set play style when it comes to these things, right? So not only you have to, do you have to worry about delay wake up in, but now you have to think about this. Uh, sorry. Where is it? Jump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set him to auto, right? Then we'll go here. I'm going to set him to, or her, whatever, to stance. Then I'm going to set it to, I'm going to keep it at jump. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm going to just trip her. So, we know that covers two options. Delay wake up in into jump. Now, let's say they don't delay wake up. A lot of people do this too. If they don't believe it, then it's your setup. See how that wasn't a real setup? But one thing you have to contribute to the setup, it and tired. You see that? So when it once things like that happen, now you have to change up your whole entire route. So now not only is it this, 
and then you would go into something else, right? I'm pretty sure you Molina players will find something. Uh, let's go for this again. And so on and so forth, right? So now, not only did you cover delay wake up in, you cover delay wake up in to jump, you cover just jumping. But what about someone who jumps backwards? Oh, no. Too good. That covers back jumping. Now, another thing that you have to contribute to is recording yourself. The last one is this. Let's see what happens. That's an option by my opponent. Boom, I get hit. I'm out of there. That's the second option. Okay, hold on. Let me think of another option. Let's see. Uh, didn't come out. That's another option. Okay. Now, let's talk about this one. See how that width? So let's go for this. That width. You, you get what I'm getting at with this? So, Molina players have already established something that you guys don't even have to worry about. I could do this. I could do this. Oh, sorry. Right? That's going to cover all your options. Every single last option that you think of, that's going to cover it. You'll probably be like, well, some Molina player will be like, I already know. I see the blueprint. I see people do this all the time. But then the thing that comes about in this whole discussion is how do I find new tech rather than just mimicking what other people do, right? So if you pay attention to this whole setup, right, from the beginning to end, okay? So we're, I'm going to show you. Boom. Right here. Borrow. He's going to borrow, go up in the air. Then he does a string into another, I guess, borrow. This can be also combo, but rather than comboing, I dash up slightly into Kung Lao hat because I can first, and then I get the mixing. But the main key to this setup is that I'm, I'm not finishing my entire combo to go for a mix. Why am I able to get so much mix? Why am I able that? I'm sorry. Then the next question will be, after I'm able to get that much, uh, then okay, so much stuff in this video. The next question you have to ask yourself when they're in the air and you do ball roll and you don't complete the combo is how many frames do I have where they get hit by that in air ball roll, then they land to the ground, then able to wake up. You have to pay attention to those frames. Because those frames are going to allow you to dash up into a Kung Lao hat rather than just automatically putting it down. I hope you pay attention. So watch. Boom. In the air, I dash up, then call Kung Lao. I don't, I don't just do the, the air ball roll and then use Kung Lao. I'm able to dash up. So the question becomes, how plus am I off of this move? These are things you have to ask yourself. Boom. Let's see. I am plus 65. And what's so cool about this move? I just did 38% and I didn't complete my combo because it gave me 65 frames of advantage to my opponent. Hit advantage. So that allows it to be able to go for certain setups. So learn how to utilize something like that in your set play, because not only is it 65 frames, but you're plus 65, which means you are allowed to understand if your opponent is going to jump or not because you get Oki. But what's also cool about the fact that you get Oki is that you also can get Kung Lao hat. And not only do you get Kung Lao hat, you get the hold Kung Lao hat until the whole meter is full, which allows 
hard to unblockable. And then on top of that, Melina's first hit is not an overhead. Her third or second hit is an overhead, which allows Kung Lao Hat to come at a specific time where your opponent may wake up and be on a, on, in a standing position or a crouching position where they have to guess. This is where you create hard to unblockable, ambiguous mix, and things in particular where they're actually 50-50s. This is what you call set play. When you cover so many options of your opponent and the only thing they can do is armor or find a way and where something may be gimmicky or cheat the system in a way where if the overhead and low meet at the same time, they can just block one or the other and they're able to block along with Kung Lao Hat. But I'm saying this to tell you guys that this is what you call real set play. But you can also limit your set play by going for the most obvious, which can be grabs or which it looks like you're about to make it complicated and it's the most simplest thing. And it opens people up. This is what you call set play as well. Now, I showed you Melina. I'm going to show you Ashra. Ashra is an amazing character because I have, I can't say it because I have, but Ashra is an amazing character in my opinion because if she, first of all, if she had a lot more damage with Goro and Ashra, this thing would be busted. But anyway, I have a strong flow chart that works on everyone. And I'm going to teach you guys a little secret just because I can play any character in this game. And I'm so, I'm so confident in my game plan. You can know what I'm going to do and you'll still lose. But there's people out there that probably are better than me or has, you know, more experience and whatever. That's not the point. The point is I will literally let you know what I'm going to do and you still have to guess. For an example, right? She's really good at strike throw. If I do get a throw. Right. Hold on. Uh, I messed up. Give me one second. Sorry. Oh. Oh. I'm ass. What is that? Plus 36, right? So let's try to make that more plus. How can we make that more plus? Oh. Plus 39. Okay. Okay. I, d I know I suck. Obviously. Hold on, I messed up that time. Okay. I'm going to just put the stick down. We're not going to play no more. That's plus 39. But look where I'm standing. Right? But what's so cool about this is that I'm plus 39, which means I get a safe jump. Right? So... For an example, if I was to go for this move, save jump, right? I get a safe jump and I'm plus off that safe jump. So let's get on the block. I'm safe. I'm plus 10 off that safe jump, right? Where they have to guess again. So the layer looks like this. Which, if they delay wake up or it doesn't hit, you can get a combo off of it anyway. Right? Plus off that. Plus 11. So now, watch this. Another one. Jimmy. See what I'm saying? Or I don't even have to go for two Goros. Watch this. Hold on. Or, man, it gets so crazy. Or what I also could do is I could just go for mix like this off of that. 
So for an example, right? Let's say that my opponent doesn't guess right, right? So after after this mix right here, uh, sorry, I'm kind of all over the place, guys, and I'm talking a lot. I apologize, but this one might be long. So again, you guys can fight me in the comments. I don't care. Anyway, you can do something like this. Remember, safe jump into that. Mixing. You see what I'm saying? It, it gets crazy. And this is all set play. I can start shimmying now because they, they think the grab's coming. I can start shimmying. I can do this. I can jump in and do this. And then I can call Goro. If I just didn't suck, obviously. And I still get set play. We call this vortexing, but at the end of the day, it's also uh, set play because vortex has something to do with like kind of like restanding your opponent. So like I would do a whole bunch of mix and then restand you, and then I mix you again, restand you, mix. That's that's vortex, and I'll go into a video about uh, vortex as well. But this is more or less set play um, in particular. Um, it's just two different set plays that I was trying to explain to you guys on how to utilize them. There's even more set plays, but these are the two that I, I, I think that most people are going to probably use. Um, if you guys have any questions again about like other set plays, um, I can show you guys, um, especially how strong they are in Mortal Kombat. And this is also going to help you branch out and play other cameos rather than what everyone else is doing, because the game is kind of set play in my opinion. Um, and you're going to do like a whole bunch of damage. Then you're going to call your cameo. To help you do another amount of damage you might do, not do the amount the same amount that you once did because you called your cameo to help but at the same time you're still doing enough damage where you open up your opponent off of a 50 50 that was safe or something like that you know what i mean so it's it's leading i hope i'm leading you guys in the right direction when it comes to understanding set play but not only just understanding set play but understanding how to utilize the game to your advantage so for all those people that play ashra and serena try goro try darius try kung lao try uh cyrax there's so many different things that you can utilize and try and try to stay away from what everyone else is doing. When you're in combat league or if you're playing against someone just for fun, try things. Stop worrying about winning. This is your number one reason why you guys will never level up in this game is because you're too focused on winning. And when you're too focused on winning, you don't learn anything new. And this is another reason why so many people don't play the game because you're not learning nothing new because you don't want to learn anything new. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. It's your boy Jay-Z Bottom.